Welcome everyone to Discover This. Well, today we got the story of a guy who's a full patch member of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. He's a tattoo artist, a boxer, a guy who likes to work out, and he's also a fugitive. You see, wherever this guy went, violence seemed to follow. So this is the story. David Daniel Dabbs became a full patch member of the Hells Angels in July of 2001. So he basically prospected for the previous year or so, and then he was voted in as a full patch member in July 2001. He worked his way up in the Dago Charter of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club and eventually became president for a time. In April of 2007, David Dabbs was vice president of the Dago Charter. And on April 26, 2007, the Dago members were gathering at the clubhouse here in El Cajon, California, to have their church meeting. Church being the regular club meeting, club business, all that kind of stuff. On that date at the church meeting, another Dago member, Nicholas Neff, the sergeant at arms at the time, was planning on quitting the Hells Angels. He was planning on moving to another part of the country and starting a new life away from the Hells Angels. Now, a few days before that church meeting, Nicholas Neff and the Dago president at the time, Stephen Sanders, got into a fight, exchanging blows. So when Neff announced that at the meeting that he wanted to quit, Sanders had him escorted out of the clubhouse to wait while the other members discussed Neff's request. Sanders apparently told the other members some things, some stories about Neff, most if not all of which were untrue. But what he said swayed the other members at the time, and they voted Neff out bad. Not a good thing in the outlaw biker world. Neff was brought back into the clubhouse and was held down on the floor, and Sanders ordered David Dabbs to take his tattoo gun and black out all of Neff's ta Hells Angels tattoos. And he had quite a few. He had Hells Angels tattoos on his throat, both sides of his neck, both arms, so there was lots to cover, and Dabbs probably did not do it gently. They then put Neff in a truck and took him to where he kept his pink slip to his motorcycle and forced him to sign the bike over to the Hells Angels. They then drove to Neff's apartment where they took all his HA paraphernalia and also took his TV and anything else they wanted. This building here on 16th Street in downtown San Diego used to be the undisputed gym and a boxing gym, uh, MMA, Jiu Jitsu, that kind of thing. And some of the Hells Angels would work out here, uh, David Dabbs being one of them. He would come here and work on his boxing and fight, fighting skills. But he also operated a tattoo shop inside the gym here. And so he would do his tattooing and things. He was a, he was a pretty good tattoo artist and he would travel around and uh, go do uh, tattoos at, at other places around, uh, around the country. Uh, here's, a, here's an advertisement for one up in the Bay Area that he did. So the Hells Angels had a little bit of affiliation with the gym just to, you know because they would work out here and whatnot but they also hosted events here and you can see from this flyer from 2009 they held an event here at Undisputed Gym which is no more. At some point David Dabbs requested a transfer to the Orange County Charter of the Hells Angels MC. As long as everyone agrees it's kind of a done deal so Dabbs went up to o Orange County. He hung out or possibly worked at a tattoo shop in Newport Beach, California and did his HA thing with other Orange County members. On July 27, 2008, David Dabbs and some other Orange County Hells Angels members went to a bar in Newport Beach called Blackies. There they met with some members of the Set Free Soldiers. 
Now, Set Free is a religious recovery organization. It's run by Phil Aguilar, Pastor Phil. And within the Set Free organization, there's a motorcycle club called the Set Free Soldiers. So both groups met at Blackie's and things went south and there was a fight. The Hells Angels were outnumbered. Now, during a later trial, law enforcement stated that via looking through phones and stuff like that, this meeting was planned by both groups. This wasn't a happenstance chance meeting. At one point during the fight, David Dabbs was reportedly restrained by Pastor Phil and his son. The Hells Angels got in a few good blows before being chased out of the bar. Again, at some point in his Hells Angels career, David Dabbs requested a transfer to the Sonoma Charter of the Hells Angels up in Northern California. That request was approved and Dabbs moved up north to the Santa Rosa area. On June 4, 2011, the Canocti Vista Casino in Lake County, California was having a tattoo convention. The Sonoma Charter of the Hells Angels had a booth at that convention. David Dabbs was there with some of his other Sonoma County brothers. Well, some members of the Vagos Motorcycle Club showed up to the casino and they were seen by the Hells Angels. The Hells Angels chased after the Vagos members and beat them in the foyer of one of the entrances to the casino. There was a video shown in court and you can see David Dabbs participating in the fight. There were four Hells Angels members that law enforcement was looking for, counting David Dabbs, with regards to this incident. In early August of 2011, August 3rd to be exact, I believe, law enforcement in San Diego County raided the Hells Angels Clubhouse in El Cajon, California. As many as seven Hells Angels with violent pasts are wanted by drug agents today. It's a story we first brought you as breaking news this morning at 6. Agents served a search warrant this morning at the Hells Angels Clubhouse on El Cajon Boulevard. 10 News reporter Luis Cruz is in El Cajon with the evidence agents found. This is the Hells Angels Clubhouse that was raided this morning. You can see the front door and a screen door that appeared to have been blown off their hinges as officers made their way inside. 
Loud bangs could be heard around 5 this morning, shortly before SWAT officers made their way into this Hells Angels clubhouse in El Cajon. The bangs set off car alarms and woke people up in this neighborhood. At first I thought it sounded like uh, something had fallen. And my wife said it sounded like an explosion or a loud gunshot. My daughter opened the door and stepped out and they told her to get back inside. Close the door, stay away from the windows. The Drug Enforcement Administration teamed up with the District Attorney's Office and San Diego and El Cajon police officers to serve search warrants. Special agents say this is a culmination of a one-year investigation into Hells Angels members who are charged with violent crimes. They are, have violent criminal histories and we are looking to get these people off the street. No one was inside the building and no arrests were made. Ten news cameras were there as officers took away jackets, bats and computers from the clubhouse. People that live and work nearby say this is the second time in six years that this location has been raided. But they describe the Hells Angels as good neighbors. We don't see any illegal activity. We never do. No one ever does. Uh, obviously, who knows? They're actually pretty good neighbors, but, you know, obviously, you know, they uh, have a reputation for something else, so. Special agents say other raids were going on simultaneously throughout the county. They are looking to arrest 7 to 11 Hells Angels members or people associated with the group. Reporting from El Cajon, Luis Cruz, 10 News. They had a search warrant and they were looking for some evidence regarding the Nicholas Neff incident. They also had arrest warrants for seven members of the Dago Charter of the Hells Angels, including David Dabbs. David Dabbs was wanted for assault, torture, and conspiracy in regards to the Nicholas Neff incident. Now, at the same time, there was also a warrant for David Dabbs out of Lake County uh, regarding that Vagos incident and the fight at the casino up in Northern California. Now, those of you that know motorcycle culture know that Late July, early August is generally the time frame of the Sturgis Rally in South Dakota. And generally every year there's a fairly large presence of Hells Angels at the Sturgis Rally. Well, 2011 was no different and David Dabbs was part of that Hells Angels contingent at Sturgis in 2011. And on August 3rd, 2011, David Dabbs was riding back home from Sturgis with some of his brothers when he got word that the Hells Angels clubhouse was being raided. He also got word that he had a warrant out for his arrest in San Diego County and a warrant out for his arrest in Lake County, California. So somewhere between Sturgis, South Dakota and Sonoma County, California, David Dabbs disappeared. And he stayed disappeared to this day. So that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this story on David Dabbs and he could be anywhere in the world, you know, he could be sitting right next to you in a restaurant. He could be driving next to you on the highway. He could be giving you a tattoo. The Hells Angels have charters all over the world, so he could be just about anywhere. And law enforcement's certainly looking for him, you know, the U.S. Marshals and the locals. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I thank you for that. And we will see you next time on Discover This.